Did you know that growing your own food is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint? A group of high school students planted all this, and we were there to see them in action. When it comes to gardening, these guys have it down. They're students at Bellarmine College Prep in San Jose, California. We're looking at the Bellarmine Orchard Garden, and we actually uh, just put in some chickens. Hopefully that will escalate into a larger project. Let's check out what we have here. Senior Michael Dirksen decided to get the project going. To tell you the truth, I don't know the names of these chickens, but it looks like in that box right there we have our first egg. And um, it's good for us. I mean, not only can we use the eggs, but the manure is great fertilizer. We're not using pesticides, you know. We're really going for the green approach here. Uh, you might want to check over there. I've always loved to garden. You know, I've, I'd like to work in the earth, like to work in the dirt, and I just like to see my hard work pay off. So here we have our, our pumpkin patch. There's two on each one, and this is drip irrigation. And so hopefully these will crawl out and sprawl along the garden. We planted a lot of peppers, peppers and some chives and uh, some sweet bell peppers that are good for barbecuing. You know, you can do a lot with them. You can can them, pickle them. So right here we're looking at tomato plants and eggplant. And um, this, the planter box that we have here, this is what we use from the old picnic bench. The trellises that we use here, we took out an old palm tree. And um, the fronds that we have, we use for uh, the plants that climb up. They're essentially, I guess you can call them organic cages. The idea behind all this is to get people thinking about the environment and farming our own food. We've been given an incredible gift of nature and um, I think we should take care of it the best that we can. Getting everything sustainable and from your own backyard is really kind of what this is kind of trying to move towards. Senior Stuart Dooley is one of the regulars out here. You may only have a small piece where you can grow some corn or some beans or lettuce or something like that, but every single bit helps. You're just releasing that carbon footprint, you know, you're not buying your lettuce from Mexico or something like that. You know, you're homegrown, you're getting your hands dirty and you're, you know, getting with the earth, which really feels good. Students plan to donate some of the crop to food banks. We can give a lot away, and that way we can just help the people in the environment. And it also gives them good nourishment. You know, this is homegrown produce, which is the best for you. And, he says, best for nature, too. I wish that everybody just would like to plant. You know, I think that it's great to grow your own things. It tastes better, for one thing. You can limit dependence on uh, foreign countries. It also decreases fossil fuels and uh, the use of other um, environmentally harmful things. And so I think with that, I just like to see more people cultivate the earth. <laughs>